I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. It takes strength, flexibility, coordination, and knowing what you're doing even when you're upside down. I'm talking about gymnastics. And gymnasts I spoke to say there's another aspect to it all that you may not think about. You have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Robbie Warshaw is the Minot High Gymnastics coach and has been coaching for nearly 30 years. She understands what it's like getting comfortable with being uncomfortable because she was a gymnast. There were days when I, you know, I was always sore and it was like, I don't think I can do this anymore. Um, so I understand how the girls are feeling when they feel like they can't do it or they're just too sore to do something or it's this is too hard or this is too scary. During her career, she's coached gymnasts of all ages. I love it. I love being with the girls. I love learning new things and getting them to do things that they didn't ever think they could do. This year is different though. Her high school team doesn't consist of high schoolers. Four seventh graders and one eighth grader make up the team. When I was little, I really loved like jumping around in my house and my mom was like, hey, she should try gymnastics and I just kind of fell in love with it. I decided to do gymnastics because um, my mom had done it and she just wanted me to try it and ever since I've just fallen in love with the sport and it's really fun. But there's a side of gymnastics you don't see from the stands, the injuries. Warshaw says during her career as a coach, gymnast, and judge, she's seen a lot of them. Dislocated elbows and hyperextended elbows and broken ankles, a lot of broken toes. It's a weird injury, but a lot of broken toes, pulled hamstrings, you know, that kind of thing, bad backs, a lot of, you know, backs that need physical therapy. Bell and Conklin are no strangers to them either. I've rolled my ankle a couple times, but um, it's always hard coming back from those injuries, but you just have to know that you can um, build from those and learn from the mistakes that you made before. I've fractured my shin. I've done some crazy stuff to my ankles. What? Yeah. How did you fracture your shin? Um, I was doing, I was on vault, and I just kind of fell and knocked my shin on the metal. And yet, they come back, you know, it just, it gets in, like I said, it gets in a person's blood and they're just gymnasts. But sometimes the reason for going back goes beyond the love of the sport. To redeem yourself sometimes because um, like it can be a, men it's a really hard mental game, gymnastics and it just like it feels good to know that you can do that skill again even if you've got her gotten hurt on it before. It was really hard to come back because it was really painful and I was just told myself that hey you gotta get back in it and you're gonna do it. Oftentimes the gymnasts persevere out of pride. They say it's worth it but that doesn't mean it's easy. For people who think gymnastics is like super easy sport um that uh it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> yeah. They're flexible, they're strong, and they're supposed to look pretty all at the same time, a graceful, you know, um, and to make everything look easy all at the same time. While they're excited to be back, they're already looking forward to the future. My goal for this season is to like do a souk on the vault, like which is a half on kind of, and then you flip out of it. I really would like to improve on my new floor routine and I think probably bars because it's difficult. <laughs> As a team, hopefully try and qualify for that team day at state. But I mean, we'll just see where the season goes. I mean, nothing's promised. To try and stay flexible at home when they couldn't practice, the girls did a variety of workouts. But they say nothing is quite like being in the gym. Their first competition is scheduled for December 18th.